Larry Winters, my awesome wife, Pam Winters, and we're from Raleigh, North Carolina. After graduating high school, we started a career as car wash employees. We were newlyweds, and we realized immediately we needed more money, because we had more month than money. And so I started thinking of other ways of generating income when we were shown a business opportunity. We went to a uh, business conference, and they had a non-denominational Christian worship service on Sunday morning, and we both attended. And that morning, I heard the gospel of Jesus Christ presented properly for the first time. And I stood up, and I walked to the altar to give my life to Christ. Pam also received Christ that morning, and we both were born again. Two years later was when we got into the Word, and that's a great story. A friend of mine lent him his car. He said, would you wash and wax my automobile? We're at the car wash. He dropped his car off. I said, sure. He said, and if you want to drive it tonight, make yourself at home. And so I did. And as I drove it to go to a business meeting, I popped in a cassette tape. And it was the first time in my life I ever heard Kenneth Copeland. And it was like water to a thirsty man in the desert. I could not believe what I was hearing. For the first time, I heard that it was okay for Christians to prosper, for Christians to win. For the first time, I heard about Christians being victorious and having dominion. And this one little cassette tape blew me away. I listened to it multiple times on that little trip I took. And so the next day, when the man who lent me his car came back, he said, uh, what would you think of that audio? What would you think of that cassette? And I said, it's the best thing I've ever heard in my life. He gave me a series called Authority of a Believer. And uh, that's, that's when our life began to change. Yes. In 1983, we're both working full time. Uh, in 1984, I'm not. In 1985, I'm not. The car wash, uh, they let me go, so to speak. But when I left the car wash, I left a steady income. We didn't have any savings. Right. We didn't have any resources. So that's when the financial troubles, if you will, really set in. We had pretty much hit rock bottom. I mean, as bad as it could get. We were actually in dumpsters at the end of a weekend golf tournament collecting aluminum cans to keep the lights on and keep our dream alive. And the entire time, we were putting the word in. We were putting Kenneth's encouragement in. We were, we were, we were listening. We, we weren't just listening, we were immersing ourselves. It was all the time. And Victory Magazine would come into our home and that would be like my lifeline. I would read it from cover to cover. Over and over. Over and over, because that's all I had. And it was just such a blessing in our life and our life began to change. And then all of a sudden it changed very quickly. But in 1985, we made less than the poverty level. Married with one child, we made less than $10,000 a year from our from any income I could bring in and our fledgling, fledgling little business. Um, but that was 1985. In 1986, things changed rapidly. And by 1991, um, you remember what we made in 1991? We made like $384,000, which, you know, for us, was a life changer, a total life changer. It was supernatural growth. Because nobody since has had that kind of growth. Or before. Or before. We, we've never heard of anybody going from a business team this size to this size in four and a half years. We never heard about it before we did it. We've never heard of anybody doing it since we did it. And we don't take any credit no. for that. We take no credit in that. We applied the principles and the principles worked. I feel like we know we have a calling on our life and this is it. And we plan to spend the rest of our life because there's so many people out there that need what we have. We have something so special in the Word and the power of the Word that we want to share it. And we're just so honored to know that He would trust us with this mission. Partnership is everything. Because when you are sowing in a fertile soil, you're going to get a multiplied return. And we've been partnering with Kenneth Copeland Ministries for since 1983. That first audio, that first, it was a cassette tape. 
And we immediately started giving to Copeland Ministries because what we've learned is when you sow into that fertile soil, the anointing and the blessing that's on Kenneth and his ministry now comes on you. We've seen that.